As the open beta is wrapping up, I wanted to talk about three things that I personally hate about the finals and some ways to counter them. One thing to keep in mind when going through this list is that I don't hate this game. I've put a ton of time into it, it's basically the only game I've played all week, aside from some single player games and the dumpster fire of the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. Let me know if you want me to cover that by the way. The finals has been a lot of fun and it's very refreshing to have that kind of fast paced and practic gameplay that it offers. And while I do look forward to seeing the game release and playing it every week, there are a few things that got very annoying very quickly. Even though the beta is most likely closed by the time this video gets out, I'm still going to include some solutions that may help out with countering them. And unless the developers make some major changes, which I doubt they will, these solutions should still help you out when we get to play the game again. Alright, so in no particular order, one thing I really hate dealing with in the finals is this silenced V95 pistol that's used by the light class. If you can line your shots, this thing deals way too much damage. I do want to see this gun get nerfed, but there's also another problem with it. Since it is single fire, you have to tap for every shot. The faster you tap though, the faster it kills. And with that 27 round mag that it has, it lets players stay in the fight much longer. While most other weapons will require reload after one kill. Since the game does not have a secondary lethal weapon for most classes, you kind of just have to get lucky with throwing a grenade or using some other gadget to create space. The other problem with this pistol is that players can create macros for it. So instead of having to play the game and actually fire each shot manually, they essentially create an auto clicker macro so the gun works closer to a full auto weapon. The developers at Embark Studio need to get on this ASAP and reduce the ability to create macros for this game. More so for the single fire weapons like this pistol and the possibility of other game breaking macros in the future. So what can be done to counter this? Before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like, and to see more videos about FPS games and gaming news, please consider subscribing. Alright, to counter pistol players, one thing you have to remember is that they are a light class, which means they can't take a lot of damage. If you are playing with someone, using comms and sticking together, one solution is for both you and your friend to focus fire on that one light target. The TTK in this game is fairly long for one-on-one -on -one fights, but if you get one additional player in that gunfight, people melt very quickly. Punishing a pistol player with a 2v1 is going to be the most effective way to deal with them and most of their enemies. Just try to keep tabs on their statue and make sure they don't get revived. Now, what if you're like me and you don't have any friends? Well, let's go over some counters with the medium class. First up, the goo grenade or the goo bins that you can find laying about. Yes, if you're expecting some sort of aggressive counter with a medium class, there's not a whole lot I can say other than hit your headshots. The goal with the medium class is going to be to keep your distance. You can also throw down a mini turret, which if you do place in a good spot, it can wear them down and maybe force them to break off. The finals is a very dynamic game, so there are plenty of options. Another option you have would be gas or explosive mines, which can help stop someone from chasing you. Though that does require you to throw them in a good spot where the enemy will either run over them or have to stop entirely to deal with it. So if you find yourself in a narrow walkway or a staircase, these mines can help you out. One of my personal favorite gadgets is the bounce pad. I like to be moving around and try to outrun anyone who is chasing me. However, the light class does have a faster run speed and a selection of either a grappling hook or a tracer like dash that can also be used midair. So trying to run from them with the bounce pad alone is more than likely going to result in death. But if you do use a combination of these gadgets between the bounce pad, a goo grenade, and landmines, you'll have what you need to survive. If you're willing to change up your primary weapon, you could also try using a shotgun. They have decent range, but you also have to not panic and land your shots. In short, if you're running a regular rifle, create distance and drop down landmines and other obstacles to make space. Or if you want to run a shotgun, lure them into a room or a closed off walkway to limit their mobility. And of course, for a heavy class, there are a few things to prevent you from getting melted by this pistol. First off, you do have two shield types you can use. One is a gadget which drops down a small dome shield. And the other is a class ability, which is basically a Reinhardt shield. You are a heavy character, you're not going to outrun them. All you can do is lure them closer to you. Between the shields and a flamethrower, you can knock out just about any light class player that tries to get close. You can also unlock the shotgun and try that out as well, see if it helps give you a little more range than the flamethrower. In short, block their shots, force them to either ignore you or get closer, then punish them. I do have to mention that I myself don't play the heavy class, so if you know of any better counters, let me know in the comments below. Moving on to the next thing that's very annoying to deal with is the stun gun, which is again limited to the light class. However, it's way too effective. 
I don't know of any way to actually counter this or limit the effects. It stops you from being able to move around and you're stuck facing one direction. If you get hit with this, it's a miracle if you survive. Unfortunately, I have no counter. I don't know what you're supposed to do to avoid this. So again, let me know if there's something I'm missing, but regardless, this needs to be reworked by the developers. Now, there are plenty of honorable or rather dishonorable mentions for what I hate about this game, so let's run those down quickly. The flamethrower, all the melee weapons such as the dagger, the sword, and the hammer, and the shotguns that seem to have more range than I expect. The counter for all of these are kind of obvious. Create space, block them out, and hit the med range if you are a medium or light character. And if you are a heavy character, it really does depend on what primary weapon you have. I don't think the LMGs are going to be that useful against these kind of weapons, but I could be wrong. And now, let's move on to the third thing I hate about this game. The third and last thing that I personally hate about the game is playing in a solo queue. I've stopped playing quick cash entirely and I don't dare touch the tournament mode or the ranked mode unless I got one or two people to team up with. Even in the bank game mode that is a lot more chaotic and less team oriented, you'll still run into a coordinated team that's running the lobby. One solution for this is basically don't try to win the game. I know that sounds counterintuitive and by no means am I saying don't play the objective. But just go for some kills, stick close-ish to your teammates, and if you're near a deposit box, then may as well try to get a few points on the board. Don't drive yourself crazy by primarily playing the objective and getting backstabbed or constantly eliminated because your teammates aren't nearby or paying attention. You'll just have to be content with dealing a lot of damage, peeling off of gunfights when you're at low health, and occasionally scoring a few points when the coast is clear. And if you do want to win more often, the best way is of course to look around Discord servers and make a few friends. But I do hope the developers do include a couple of game modes where team play isn't needed at all, which can work as a nice change of pace from these objective oriented game modes that are very rare to win unless you do all the work or have a team to rely on. The finals is a very fun and competitive game, so it does make sense that solo queue players are going to have a tougher time. I just hope that the developers do give us something to do to make that experience less painful. And now it's time to scroll down to the comments and let me know whether or not you agree with this list, what upsets you the most, and what you would like to see from the game. Don't forget to leave a like if you got in this far, and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Until then, I am Mr. Rain, and I'll see you next time.